Hey, I'm Artemis. And I'm Amanda. And today we're going to make paper flowers using materials you can find in your house. Flowers were an important part of pioneer life because they, were, they had many uses. You could use them to dye your clothes or your cloth, and some had medicinal purposes, so you could use them to treat illnesses. Wait, what? are we like starting? In this video, we're making paper hyacinths and paper lilies. lilies. And these will last a lot longer than fresh flowers. Today we're going to make paper hyacinths. Your materials are going to be paper for your petals, paper for your stem, a ruler, a pencil, glue stick, scissors, something small and thin and round like a stick or a, a, a straw or something. But today we're going to use a chopstick. Step one, get the flower paper and measure a two inch strip the long way on the paper. Step two, cut the strip. Step three, measure about a half inch and draw a line. Or snip, snip down the line all the way. So you have to cut all the way down to the line whenever you're doing it. Step five, roll the petals. So you put, you grip, so you get your small thin round object and you put it on there and then you start rolling your paper on it. Make sure it stays like with the paper because And then do that with all the petals until you're done. Okay, so now we're going to set the petals aside and start working on the stem. So first you measure, measure and cut a two inch strip. Then glue all over and start to roll the paper on a diagonal line. Start at the corner and go to the end. Make it really tight.
quick but I can count. And if your thing ends up a bit short, you can pull the end, make it taller. Now it's time to bring the petals back. So you flip it over and glue on the thing, the solid part. Then glue it onto the stem. Start at, start at the thin edge of the stem and start wrapping around the stem like downwards. If it doesn't want to wrap, you can take it off and start over. Ta-da! For the next flower, we're gonna make a handprint lily. To start with, we need the paper for the petals, a straw, or a, or a paper stem, like we made in the other flower, a stapler, scissors, a pencil, and a pipe cleaner. Step one, trace your hand on the paper and cut it out. Now, for step two, roll your hand and insert the pipe cleaner and staple those together. For step three, curl your fingers using a pencil or just your finger.
For step four, insert the straw or the paper stem and staple that. Now you can trim your flower as desired. Good job.